Now, the fight that people wanted to see, the fight that people wanted to see was the fight against, uh, was Muhammad Mokayev versus, um, oh, look at Nick. He jumps in. He jumps in to fuck with my combat corner because he was late. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm running this down. I have one more fight. No, go what? ahead. Go ahead. No, no, what? No, I said go ahead. The last fight was Mo- 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 Mohammed Mokayev and Manel Kopp. Mo- Mo- that fight was a big hype before it. These guys got into a fight before the fight. Crazy shit on the, on the stage. Crazy shit in the hotel. And, and Mokayev, who was undefeated, Looked like he may have tapped. They moved the card from the early prelim to the first fight of the prelim. Should have been on the main card. But then, honestly, that fight laid a fucking egg. What a disappointing fight. Mokai have won. I, I, but there's a spot where it looked like he might have tapped. And C- Cop has posted that on social media. It looked like he might have tapped. Now, maybe he didn't. He did try to take Cop's shorts off. He pulled them literally right off. That should have been a point deduction, in my opinion, the way he pulled his shorts off. But he otherwise he otherwise won the fight. Now, Cop looked like he broke his big toe in the second round on a kick, and it looked kind of gross. He was off. He would not put any weight on that front big toe. But holy shit, Mokayev wins the fight. Finn is now undefeated, still undefeated. And he gets cut from the UFC. <laughs> this is the guy that should be fighting next for the fucking belt. And you cut him? I understand you may not think he is the most exciting fighter. However, he has four stoppages in seven fights. Just because his style doesn't excite you. We just watched a middleweight, a, a welterweight championship fight where Bilal Muhammad basically tackled Leon Edwards for five fucking rounds. He wrestled it for five rounds. We watched, we've watched champions in the UFC before wrestle. This is mixed martial arts. This isn't karate. This isn't kickboxing. This isn't boxing. This isn't bare knuckle. This isn't street fighting. How the fuck are you cutting the guy who should be the next title contender? He's undefeated. Who the hell is going to fight Alexander Pantosha? I mean, are we going to have Brandon Moreno fight him? Brandon Moreno fight him again? The position that Henry Cejudo saved, brother. Let you just cut the like what the UFC at times loses itself because you don't cut a guy who's undefeated and undefeated in your organization because he doesn't fight aesthetically pleasing. And I don't give a shit what he did backstage. I don't care. Manal Cop is a crazy man too. Manal Cop gets in this bullshit with fighters all the time. This isn't new. And you cut him after he wins? Beats me. I, I, I give up. But that's it. Yeah, I went one and four. I think I, I think whoa, whoa, whoa. That was the one. We, I okay, went so one and four. Me. I, I, I'm just as bad as you in, in, in the CFL picks. I went one and four. I picked Mokayev. I picked uh, Chikaze. I picked King Green. I picked Curtis really? Blades. And I picked Leon Edwards. And I lost all Mar- four up top. And I, and I won the Mokayev. you think, won, huh? like, Harder than you pick. Rodriguez. I didn't pick the Rodriguez okay. fight, but he won. He was. He did win. I would have. I would have picked him, but I didn't pick that fight. That's all for now, folks. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. That's it for Combat Corner. Yeah, baby. Come on now.